Hi everyone, for today I'm going to teach you how to factor quadratic equation using uh, the uh, what we call the X method. All right, so what do you mean by factoring? Factoring reverses the process of multiplication. So this is the X method I'm talking about. First thing you need to consider is that the quadratic equation is, is in standard form, meaning it should be in the AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. And then from there, we just need this like a puzzle. We need to find two numbers that when multiplied, the answer is the product of A and C. And when added, the answer is positive B. Let me give you examples. Now here, the first four examples are kind of easy because A here is A is equal to 1, meaning for our formula that we will be using, it will just be X plus what, whatever the number is, and then X plus whatever the number is. Okay, so AC, 12 times 1 is just 12, so meaning you just need to look at the 12 and look at the number 7. So I'm still kind of using the X method, right? But I'm just going to give you um, reminders that the 12 is the, the number that when we, when we think about these two numbers, the answer will be 12. And when added, the answer is positive 7. So what are those two numbers? When multiplied, the answer is 12. When added, the answer is 7. So to, to make it easier for us, we can list down some some numbers that when multiplied the answer is 12. Let's start with that. So 6, 1, um, negative 6, negative 1, uh, 4, 3, negative 4, negative 3. So all of these pairs, if we multiply them, the answer is positive 12, right? But which one will give us a sum of 7? 4 and 3. So meaning this is x plus 4, x plus 3. This will be the answer. All right. Let's go to the next example. So here we have x plus what? And then x plus what? All right. 2 and then negative 3. So we have the 2. And then um, first is you need to find the numbers that when multiplied, the answer is positive 2. That means 2 and negative 2 and positive 1, negative 2 and negative 1. Which pair will give us a sum of negative 3? So this. So that means this is going to be, uh, I'm going to erase that now, and it's going to be minus 2 and then minus 1, all right? And this is the answer. All right, let's go to the uh, next one. Next two here. So x and then x, we have the negative 10 on top, 3 at the bottom. So negative 10 is our... AC, well, A is just 1, so negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. So first, we need to find numbers that when multiplied, the answer is negative 10. That means negative 5 and 2, 5 and negative 2. We can also have 10 and negative 1, or negative 10, negative 10. What's happening here? negative 10 and it's not negative 10 negative 10 and 1 so negative 5 times 2 5 times negative 2 10 times negative 1 negative 10 times 10. all of those four they uh when you multiply them the answer is negative 10. now which one will give us a sum of positive 3. okay this so that's plus 5 negative 2. all right let's go to the last one here where a equals 1 so x, x, that's negative 24, negative 2. So let's find first numbers that when multiplied, the answer is negative 24. So 24 times negative 1, negative 24 times 1. 12 times negative 2, negative 12 times 2. 6 times 4, negative 4, negative 6 times 4. What else? I think 8 times 3 and negative 3 and negative 8 times 3. Okay. Which one will give us a sum of negative 2? Nope, 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 nope. Right there. All right. Negative 6 and positive 4. So question, can we switch their places? Like, can it be x plus 4 and x minus 6? The answer is absolutely yes. All right. 
So this is where a equals 1. What if a is not equal to 1? Like, for example, in this case. So here, let's just apply the, uh, the x method. Well, we did the x method there, but it's the, the simple version of the x method. But let's see that here. So we have the x. Okay. And then the, let me erase that. So here's the x. Um, a is this, this is our B, and this is our C, right? So A times C, AC is equal to 12, right? That's positive 12. And then B is equal to 13. Okay, A is equal to 3, so that means we will follow the formula X plus, all right, 3, and then X plus plus over 3. So the two numbers we're looking should be put there on, on, on the numerator. We will put those two numbers there in the, on the numerator, okay? So let's consider 12 first. 12. Two numbers that we multiply the answer is 12. 12, 1, negative, negative 12, negative 1, 6, 2, negative 6, negative 2, 4, 3, negative 4, negative 3. All right, which one will give us a sum of 13? There you go, the first option. So 12, 1. Now, what are the factors? Well, we need to simplify the ones on the right side, on the left side, rather. So this will be x plus 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now, here on the right side, what we're going to do is to multiply this 3 to the x. So 3 times x, it's going to be 3x plus 1. And that will leave 1 alone there on the right side. All right. And this is the answer. Real quick, right? Easy, easy. Let's go to the next one. Um, yeah, let's use the, the x method here. So let's multiply 2 and 10. 2 times 10 is 20. Okay, multiply the c, a, c. b is negative 9. All right, so we have x plus number divided by 2, x plus that number divided by 2. Okay, 20. Two numbers that when multiplied, the answer is 20. 21, negative 20, and negative 1. 10 and 2, negative 10 and negative 2. What else? 4 and 5, negative 4 and negative 5. What else? I think that's it. Okay, 20 plus 1. Not negative 9, this is not negative 9, this is not negative 9, not negative 9, not negative 9, this is negative 9. Negative 4 plus negative 5. So I'm going to put here negative 4, I'm going to put here negative 5. So let's simplify negative 4 over 2. I think that's minus 2, right? So I'm going to erase that positive sign and I will just put x minus 2. That's my first factor. Here I'm going to put that, I'm going to multiply that 2, 2x. So this is going to be 2x minus 5 is the answer. All right. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So by this time, I hope you already understand the procedure. If not, keep on uh, listening to me and watch this video. AC, that's 2 times negative 15, which is negative 30. All right. Our B is 7. So x plus over 2, x plus over 2. Negative 30. So two numbers. When multiply the answer is negative 30. What are those numbers? 10 and negative 3. Negative 10 and 3. 15 and 2. Negative 2. Negative 15 and positive 2. Of course, 30 and negative 1. Negative 30 and, and 1. Which pair will give us a sum of positive 7? 10 and negative 3. We add those two, the answer is negative positive 7. So that means this is 10, this is 10, and this is negative 3. Can we switch 10 and negative 3? Absolutely. Okay, let's do that. Let's switch them. Negative 3 and positive 10. So here I'm going to multiply that to x. That's going to be give me 2x minus 3 times, well, we can simplify 10 over 2, that is 5. That's the answer. All right? Oh, let me give you one last example. 
All right. So if you want, you can just try this on your own and uh, pause the, this video. And then after maybe you answer this, try to check if your answer is right or wrong. Okay, I'm going to give you time to do that. Just pause it and then continue watching the video. All right, so here is the answer to this. AC, AC 4 times negative 3, that means negative 12. Our B is negative 11. So X plus number over 4. X plus that number over 4. So negative 12 is our number. All right. Um, numbers that when multiplied, the answer is 12. What are those? 12, negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 1. Negative 12 times 1. 4 times um, negative 3. Negative 4 times 3. 6 times negative 2. Negative 6 times 2. Which pair will give us a sum of negative 11? 12 plus negative 1 is positive 11. Negative 12 plus 1 is 11. Negative 11, rather. So meaning... Uh, this is, we can put it 1 here and negative 12 here. So that means we cannot simplify 1 over 4. That's a fraction already. So I'm going to multiply that 4 to x. So that makes 4x plus 1. I can simplify negative, negative 12 over 4. That's 3, negative 3. All right. So that is the answer. And I think this is the best way to find the factors of quadratic equation. All right, thank you for watching.